Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray you're having a wonderful day. And my friends, I'm excited about the things of God. You know, I, I often say that this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad to be saved. I'm glad to be sanctified. Listen, I'm glad that I'm filled with the precious Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, however you choose to say it. But the Holy Spirit of God is living on the inside of me. And I'm grateful that I know Jesus Christ and that I'm not doubting about the way I'm walking in the light. Holiness is right. I'm not doubting about the way. Listen, listen. Now, I want to come to you today with some fighting words. Now, do you hear me? I've got some fighting words that I want to uh, uh, want to bring up today. I mean, oh, my, these are fighting or uh, offensive words. And uh, and uh, even though they are offensive and they're fighting words and they, they're divisive words and all that, Brother Wooden will never stop using these words. And you know what the, you know what this fighting phrase is? Oh my, this, this phrase that is dividing America, uh, dividing uh, advertisers and all, oh, man, I mean, it's crazy this time of the year. You know what it is? You've guessed it if you're thinking. Check it out. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Merry Christmas. Now, I know it's early in the month of December, but look, the, the marketers, have, they've gotten a jump on me, and they've, they've already released uh, and are releasing their uh, ads and commercials this time of the year. And if you haven't paid any attention to it, and I don't know how it's possible that you haven't, but... For the two or three who are watching who haven't, just notice how the marketers go out of their way not to mention Christmas. Nine times out of ten, if you hear the word Christmas mentioned, it's a Hobby Lobby commercial. But the rest of them, oh, this holiday season, that holiday season, holiday, celebrate the holidays, holiday, 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 holiday. They're trying to stay away from the word Christmas, Christ mass, gathering in the name of Christ, the celebration of the birth of Christ. And these people uh, with these uh, sweet, uh, uh, soft, cushy commercials are actually trying to redefine and, and, and uh, uh, give a new definition to Christmas and, and tell us that Christmas is not about uh, the birth of Christ, but Christmas is about uh, buying gifts. Christmas is about uh, doing community work. Christmas is about showing love. Christmas is about uh, uh, everything except the fact that God allowed his Savior. God provided a way. God provided a bridge. My God, the Lord opened the lane where sinful man could get back into favor and be saved and go home and live with the righteous and holy God who made him. And God allowed Jesus Christ, he didn't have to do it, but he did, to come be, and be born. Now check this out, now I'm, I'm really going to get crazy, of a virgin. Yes, the Virgin Mary gave birth to the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, uh, we're trying to now not celebrate that, but create a new celebration. And the sad thing about it is uh, so many believers fall for it. Uh, uh, believers actually send cards. Gary, can you believe it? Believers send out Christmas cards this time of the year <laughs> saying happy holidays, season greetings, season's greetings and happy holidays. Come on, man. Come on, woman. You're a believer in Jesus Christ. How about, uh, would, would it kill you to just say Merry Christmas? Especially since uh, we're, we're moving into the Christmas season. We're moving into the season where the only federally recognized holiday in the month of December is Christmas. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's a fact. 
So uh, I'm here to just uh, uh, launch uh, a salvo to be one of the first. I guess I'm offending some of you, but I want to say Merry Christmas. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We've already got our big Christmas uh, sign up in front of the church in big, bold letters. Merry Christmas. And I want to read something to you. Uh, and I'm, I'm getting ready to go and talk about tonight. But listen, Jesus said this in Mark's gospel, chapter number eight and verse 38. Whosoever, therefore, shall be ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels. All of you who are ashamed of Jesus now, all of you, you know, you happy holiday season greetings, Christians, you Christians who, well, we don't want to offend anyone. So what we what we do is we just say Caesar's greetings that way, just in case a person doesn't celebrate Christmas, they're not offended. Well, listen, whether they celebrate Christmas or not, it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. You know, whether people celebrate birthdays or not, you want everybody to know when your birthday is, don't you? There's a whole lot of things. There's a whole lot of celebrations that take place uh, and, and not everyone participates in them. Everybody, not everybody watches the Super Bowl, but everyone knows when it's Super Bowl Sunday. It's amazing to me the number of people in this. Notice what it's called. It's called an, an adulterous and sinful generation. And this adultery here is dealing with spiritual adultery. What is spiritual uh, uh, adultery? Multiculturalism. Uh, this diversity movement. I didn't say being multicultural. I said multiculturalism. America is multicultural. It is made up of many cultures, but the cultures come together and form what is called a melting pot. And it has given us what used to be a distinct American uh, a society, uh, a, a distinct American way, a distinct American lifestyle. Regards to where you come from, you learn how the American game is played and you participate in it. But multiculturalism keeps all of the cultures divided, keeps us all in silos, and, and there is no blending. In some cases, in some areas of this country, if all you know is English, you're in trouble. In America. Can you believe that, Gary? In America. And with diversity, we're celebrating all this diversity. And I noticed in the diversity celebrations, the one uh, ideology, line of thinking, thought, or whatever that is not celebrated with diversity celebrations is Christianity. The Judeo-Christian ethic, Christian thinking. Oh, Christianity now is, is being uh, pushed to the side, even by Christians. Do you know we got Christians out there who think that you can be a pro-choice believer? that you can be a believer in Jesus Christ and still believe in killing babies too? Something's wrong with you. It's an adulterous and a wicked generation. Uh, who be There are Christians who believe you can, you can be a Christian and yet believe that a man can turn himself into a woman or that same-sex marriage is right. All that. We just saw the death of a heretic and, the, and you see clips of his funeral and we see all kind of lesbians and homosexuals in, 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 in robes and in clerical attire, but their lifestyle is a defiled lifestyle. They're living a wicked lifestyle. Uh, and we're trying to take wickedness and, and, uh, and mix it with uh, a grief. And so we're, so we're sorry that the brother died and we we're going to put him in heaven anyway, even though he took a position that is contrary to the written word of God. We see Christians today, men who are claiming to know Jesus Christ, and yet they are uh, uh, against Israel. I mean, how do you read your Bible and, 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 and take such positions? We see born-again believers beginning to take, uh, to celebrate. And you know, we're in a day where po people post everything. Celebrate. Uh, being uh, uh, adjoining and being instructed by uh, 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 so-called Christian activists 
who supports everything that the Bible speaks against. How, how you gonna how you gonna be instructed by a, a same sex uh, promoting, transgender promoting, uh, abortion promoting, left leaning, ultra left leaning Christian? That's see that's the problem. We're in an adulterous and sinful generation and the liability who is beginning to be viewed as a liability in this adulterous and sinful generation that Jesus spoke of in Mark 8 and 38 is the Lord Jesus Christ and 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 his words and the words of Jesus Christ the teachers of Christ is holiness. The teachings of Christ is godliness. The teachings of Christ is love, but not love that is a license to every defiled behavior, but love that also has in it correction and discipline and showing people the way. And more and more, I see even in the holiness church, in churches across America, black and white, I see people taking down. I see people as we mix these teachings and doctrines and these ideologies in biblical Christianity, as we throw in black liberation theology, as we throw in yoga, as we throw in all of these things, as we give a dab of rock and roll and all of that mess and hip hop and mix it into uh, Christianity. See, this is the, uh, we see God's truth being suppressed. But there are people out there like you who are watching me today who join people like me who are saying this today. And we are saying that we are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We're not ashamed of the Christ of the Bible. And that we believe that there is nothing wrong with Christianity, that nothing, Christianity needs nothing added to it, that Christianity is perfect and it is right as it is. I do not believe in progressive revelation. I believe that the, we are closed canon preachers. I'll never forget, and I'll close with this. On my one visit to an Azusa uh, service, I was with some friends whose names I will not call and some are no longer with us today. And we met Carter Pearson and, and uh, one person said to Carter Pearson, she gave him her name and she said uh, her name and said, I want you to know I will follow you wherever you lead. The next person said to him, he gave his name and said that he's with the evangelist and that he too would follow him wherever he, would, he leads. Well, it's my turn, and I said, my name is Patrick Wooden. Nice to meet you. That was the end of that, and uh, I got invited uh, to the house, and uh, of course, I turned that down because uh, I, 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 listen, uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be in, the, in that. I do not, be, I've never believed in progressive revelation. I don't believe that there's anything that God has ever shown me, or anything that I've ever written nor anything you've ever written for that part, for that matter, that's on an equal par with what God gave Paul and, and John and Peter and Moses, Daniel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Malachi, Zephaniah, uh, Zephaniah. Listen, the whole Bible is my point. We're closed canon. I believe that what God had to say to mankind, he said it from Genesis to Revelation. And I'm like Jew, we're going to uh, contend for the doctrine that was once and for all delivered unto the saints. So I want to close this little diatribe of mine today with what I started with. <laughs> I want to close by wishing you, I want to be among the first to wish you a very, not just a merry, a very merry Christmas. 
and a happy new year. And I want you to join us tonight. Now, listen, listen, I will, I will not be at the upper room tonight. I will not be at the upper room, but we're going to have a great service. Why are you going to be? Wouldn't, why are you going to be? Pamela and I will be celebrating our 43rd wedding anniversary. 43 years we've been together. And I thank God for her. I thank God for the way that the Lord has blessed us and caused his face to shine upon us and has given us 43 wonderful years. And uh, hey, I'm asking God for 43 more. I can ask, right? And so we're all, we're, we're going to be celebrating, but I'll be back in place uh, this coming Sunday, but we are going to have church tonight. So join the saints, join the members of the upper room church of God in Christ tonight for Bible study. <laughs> Yes, you guessed it. Bible study. Tune in whether I'm here or not. The word of God will be proclaimed with power and authority. Now, I love you. And Merry Christmas.